Happening now, controversy over comments from a local school board member. What exactly was said, the public meeting where it happened, and new tonight, reaction to the comments from the local LGBTQ community and school parents. Good evening, we're glad you're here tonight. I'm Tom Powell. And I'm Linda Jackson. Northwest Allen County School Board member Steve Barkus made the comments during a discussion about the district's mask requirement for students. But as Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Carly Van Cleve reports tonight, it's what Barkus said about sexuality that has some people upset. You'll hear the comments in just a moment. And I should tell you a spokesperson for Northwest Allen County Schools says that district leaders do not support or agree with this part of what board member Barkus said in any way. And the superintendent says the district is committed to their mission to provide a healthy and safe learning environment for everyone. Wednesday, while debating whether the district should continue to require students to wear face masks during the pandemic, board member Steve Barkis said this. Uh, people have a choice to be gay or straight these days, right? Some of the craziest things against God's rules on this earth, we have a choice now. So we're, when do the parents get a choice here, the children get a choice? whether this is good for their family or their own personal well-being because there's a lot of families that are psychologically affected with this, physically affected with this. We're not saying that masks don't work. They do for some cases. I asked Barkus to clarify what he meant. He declined an on-camera interview but told me over the phone he is sorry if he offended anyone. He wanted to emphasize people's right to choose when it comes to students wearing a mask. Comparing that with choosing sexual orientation isn't sitting well with some. People have a choice uh, uh, to be educated or ignorant. And I don't believe that Mr. Barkas represents the majority of parents, students, teachers, administrators in our district. Sarah Bridgewater has two children in the district. We have not ever told our children that it is a choice that someone makes, but just uh, who they are, and that's how they're born. She says when she heard these comments, she was furious. I think that Mr. Barkas should resign. I just don't think that he has a really good understanding of the student body of the culture of the next community. Sexual preference or gender identity is not a choice that one makes. AJ Lorenzini is with an organization called Glisten Fort Wayne, a group that helps advocate for LGBTQ students. You are a young LGBTQ plus person in the district and you hear someone of authority saying those things, it can have negative consequences. But he says he doesn't want Barkis to resign. Instead, he says this should lead to a dialogue through seminars or workshops, and he'd like to sit down and talk with Barkis. There's willingness. Learning can happen and, and change can be made. And, you know, we make mistakes, but it's the willingness to learn from them that's the big thing. Over the phone, Barkus told me, quote, I have a lot of gay friends and I treat them like people, but they have a choice to be that way and act out the way that they are, end quote. He went on to say our reporting should focus on the issue of whether to require face masks. By the way, you'll find the superintendent's full statement with this story at FortWaynesNBC.com.